Hey guys, it is Danny and I'm here with updates on the tropics. So we have Invest 98L to talk about, which is actually a threat to the east coast of the United States given a high chance of development and by the next day or so we could see this becoming a tropical or subtropical cyclone and over in the eastern pacific we have tropical storm Christina expected to be a hurricane soon but before I go into details please ensure to subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you know every time when I post new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right throughout the hurricane season and you can also follow my instagram my other account is with girl Danny and my main account is Danny Henry official so first let us go back to invest nine and so right now it is given a high 70% chance of formation through both 48 hours and 5 days by the National Hurricane Center and right now it is located right off the coast of South Carolina and so most of the Shore and thunderstorm activity goes off into the warm ocean waters of the Atlantic region. Hence, we're expecting it to become subtropical cyclone or tropical cyclone soon. And on satellite view, we, clear, we clearly see that a lot of the rainfall activity is not inland. But as the system accelerates more to the north, we're going to be seeing that rainfall affecting portions of the east coast guys inclusive of the carolinas and the mid-atlantic states and so guys if you're there please take the necessary precautions because flash flooding is definitely possible when the system is going to be accelerating up north and so for our potential intensity for our potential tropical cyclone here we have most of the available models agreeing that this will definitely reach tropical storm status none taking it up to category one hurricane status and so we just have to watch this and see. And so if this becomes our next tropical or subtropical cyclone, it will acquire the name Faye, which is the next name on the list for this Atlantic hurricane season. Now we just have to keep watching the system as time goes by. And next in the Eastern Pacific, here we have Tropical Storm Christina. Right now the storm has winds of 60 miles per hour and it is forecast to become a hurricane maybe by tomorrow morning. And right now it is moving to the northwest at 12 miles per hour. So fortunately it is located well off the coast of Mexico. But the storm is quite big. So we could have maybe a band or two from the system being brushed on shore and affecting portions of the country causing some very inclement weather so guys if you are going to be going out to the beach or whatever please stay cautious and so this, the system is then expected to accelerate away and for our potential intensity here we have majority of our models keeping it at category one status one taking it up to category three and so well the national hurricane center is expecting it to peak at cat one but some further intensification is not impossible because we have a lot of instances where we've seen storms rapidly intensify so we definitely have to watch christina for this but even if that does happen fortunately it is located well offshore and not a direct threat to land and on satellite view here we are having it we're not seeing a lot of organization from christina but of course as time goes by we're expecting to definitely see the storm being more defined as a tropical cyclone guys and so that is really it for this video guys and so if you found this video to be pretty informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share thoughts in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be weatherwise and i will keep giving all your necessary updates on the tropics as time goes by